I'm at Wheeler Chevrolet GMC in Wisconsin Rapids. You can see the signs. Uh, taking a look primarily for trucks, since that is uh, what's so hard to get. Um, just start from where I start, I guess. X31 off road, never heard of it. Uh, used truck, 36 grand, 81,000 miles in a 2019. Nice interior. Um, there is a lot of trucks here. Not, not a crazy amount. Out back isn't seriously full. And then on their overflow lot, they've got a body shop next door. Um, there's a couple of vehicles over there, but not much. So this isn't like one of those dealers where they are, you know, crazy full and uh, overflowing. What I'm finding is, while the trucks are selling, more than you would guess at the current prices. 2021, you know, on sale for 40 grand, on sale for 50 grand, on sale for 37 on a 2020. Although I hate to say this is a cheap one. Nice interior, only 37 grand. Back seat with the tint, so a little hard to see. This is some kind of dark, dark brown. Just since it's well only 37 grand, I shouldn't say that. Uh, Mundus sticker says 40, 60,000 miles in 2020. So 60,000 miles. I mean, but that's nice as far as trucks go. It's just 37 feels like a lot of money. Although, I mean, if a new one's going to be 60. Although, what percentage of the truck is used up at that point? Looks like two for 51. Texas edition, 44 with the topper. Oh, well, it's a 2022 with a Duramax for 44. Other interior, 20 miles, 32,000 miles. Let's see again, I mean, I hate to say that's not crazy expensive, but when you compare it to the price of new, well, it's still expensive. Um, it's not as expensive. Uh, used vehicles. I mean, if you figured, you know, if you were looking for like half price, you know, at what point should the vehicle be half price? I mean, do you count it as half used up? Once it's hits half price? Or is there some other criteria? I would think the first half of its life should be worth more than the last half because you're less likely to have problems. 93,000 suburban high country. I mean, that's nice. I, know, I was watching some uh, vehicles go through auctions. Nowhere near as expensive. 78,000. Oh, if you want to feel poor, just look at uh, the price of vehicles. Think about what you've spent on previous ones you've bought. And, or, or <laughs> more importantly, 78. Think about what you've spent on houses you've lived in. I've lived in some uh, rural areas, basically. And uh, I don't know, you can probably buy two houses for the 75,000 listing class. I mean, maybe not anymore. I've bought a lot of rental houses over the years. You know, houses I found cheap and have rented out and then Ended up reselling. Oh, this is the Acadia. I didn't even recognize what this was. Oh, there's a lot of houses I bought for like 35000 though. I mean, yeah, they needed work. But they were 35000 I mean, maybe in a small town or something. Oh, the sticker's on the other side. All right, curious to see what the Acadias are going for. Nice trim package. Ah, this almost looks purple though. I don't know what that color is. $50,000. 2.5 liter turbo. Just says crystal metallic. Exterior. But it looks purple to me. But I'm a little colorblind, so who knows. GMC Canyon. That is a little bad. Although the truck, sometimes you just need to be able to pull a trailer. Can't get that much in the bed in most of them. 
keep changing the headlights. I think that's uh, just to get you to think you gotta buy the newer model. 41,000. 2.7 liter turbo max, eight speed transmission. See, it seems like the back seat is really small on these. Again, they should be more locked so I can be nosy. Well, if you get homeless people sleeping in them or what? There are dealers that uh, leave the vehicles unlocked, but maybe not all the time. 17 miles to the gallon, 57 grand. It's kind of a tan color. Sun rough. It's a little higher, a little higher back end. A little more suspension. Colorado. This headlights the same, that looks a little different. Is there a year difference on these maybe? It's a 2024. 37,000. Oh no, 41 over here. Lots of prices on there, confusing. Full size, 17 miles a gallon, 61 grand. Ah, I'm not opposed to buying new, I'm just opposed to feeling like I got screwed over. I mean, again, nice trucks. Never bought a brand new full size. But I think they, uh, 61 grand, I think they keep the price you know, at the top of the market all the time. So every time you like, think that you're gonna buy one. I know I had looked when they were 35 grand for a, you know, base model. And seriously considered it, but then never bought it. You know, the base model's more like 50. I suppose I'll say the same thing in 10 years when they're 80 instead of 50. They just keep going up. I know if I was making them, I'd come up with a cheaper base model get people in the market because you start buying these and you get one that's paid off and then you trade that and then you've got a smaller loan and then you kind of get caught in the cycle you've got to keep trading them otherwise you lose too much depreciation and you can't so if they could work their system like i know a lot of people for a while that were trading like every three two to three years and they were afraid to go any longer than that because the vehicle depreciates so much they wouldn't be able to afford to trade so they had to trade when the old one was still worth you know like 20 grand i mean back when they were like 35 or 40 for a new truck and they were afraid it would get down to like you know 10 or 15 and then just the price difference would be too much because obviously the price is moving opposite directions your trade gets lower and lower and the new trucks get higher and higher. A little bit of inflation goes a long way. 61,000, a lot of these are 60, but they're not like overly optioned out. All right, this looks like a base GMC. What's the price on this one? See it right at 50. Probably well, 50 grand gets your base model. If you can see that, I mean, it's nice. That's just hard. If, if you don't have a uh, paid off trade or something, it's hard to pay that 50 grand. So 66,000, this is a lot nicer. And maybe there'll be some better incentives out. You have 5.9 for 84 months. I mean, can you pay it down fast enough to even trade it in at some point? Or are you going to be upside down in it most of the time you're paying on it? So you can't even trade it. 83,000. So obviously the uh, price you're selling them for used isn't the price they're gonna give you. I mean, they've got some margin in there and nothing says they're gonna sell it for what they're asking. 97,000 for a pickup. Very nice, but still 97,000 for a pickup. I mean, very nice. Duramax, Denali. But they'll give you a 5.9 APR, which isn't even that amazing. 
74,000. But I mean, you have to pay almost $1,000 in principal plus um, interest per month. And this one more, because it's, uh, well, it's right at 100,000 with options. So 100,000, 84 months. I mean, you just hit 0% interest, it'd be over $1,000 a month. I mean, yeah, if you're trading in a two-year-old Duramax or something that's paid off, it's not so bad. But you gotta be able to pay enough to stay under that depreciation. I mean, they make it look like there's not that much depreciation, but what they ask and what they give you is totally different. And yeah, you can take a, Oh, uh, use Duramax. I mean, yeah, you'd be able to sell it probably. There's a lot of liability in just uh, getting the payment. Imagine selling your truck and uh, somehow get defrauded on the payment and losing the truck and the money. Be really hard pressed to uh, make that up. But if you're trading into a dealership, there's a lot more security there. 2500 HD. I think that's just really tough, but. $86,000. If somebody wanted to buy me one, I'd definitely take it. Although, I don't know how much I'd drive it. I'd just be sick every time I went to the gas station. Yeah, decent selection. Quite a few of them here. Not that much used, though. Now, is this the new electric? It's got to be a little bit ones in here. See, the G4000, what a bargain. Oh, yeah, I, I uh, still think you get more for a pickup as far as depreciation. E Blazer. 58,000. See, as the, are the. So the electric vehicles are a little more new the concept so how good are these going to be i mean are you going to get 250,000 miles out of an electric blazer are you willing to bet i don't know fifty-eight thousand dollars or whatever these things are 52 are you willing to bet fifty-two thousand dollars that it's going to last as long it's kind of a mint green I assume this is a Trax. Not much from where I'm going and not watching. Oh, this is a little trailblazer. Front wheel drive, only 32 grand. Oh, blazer and trailblazer. All right, I'm a little slow. Again, the E Blazer, totally different taillights than the regular blazer. I don't know if there's a year difference or they're just uh, changing.